हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अणिमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री लैब एंड केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर वीडियोस द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ अवेलेबल लाइन एज कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड यूजिंग रैपिड शुगर मेथड this video i am making on request from many students so please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far and also share this video among all your friends and colleagues i will try to take almost all the possible questions and their answers so that you can do well in your lab exam as well as in your theory exam so let's begin with today's topic what is lime lime is calcium oxide and the formula is cao it is also called quick lime and it is free from moisture what is slate or hydrated lime calcium hydroxide caoh twice is called slate or hydrated lime when calcium oxide reacts with water it forms slaked lime and this process is called slaking with the help of reaction i have tried to show you how calcium oxide reacts with water to form slaked lime what happens when lime and slaked lime is exposed to air or atmosphere air is a mixture of many gases besides oxygen it contains large amount of nitrogen small amount of carbon dioxide and traces of inert gases so when lime and slaked lime is exposed to air it absorbs the carbon dioxide present in the air to form calcium carbonate with the help of reactions i have tried to show you how these reactions takes place what is the percentage of available lime in pure quick lime and in hydrated lime in pure quick lime the percentage of lime is 100% whereas in hydrated lime it is around 75.56% what is the ph of the freshly prepared solution of lime and slaked lime it is around 12.4 so in other words we can say that the solutions of lime and slaked lime are alkaline why determination of available lime in quick lime and hydrated lime required quick lime and hydrated lime are used in many industries therefore the determination of available lime in quick lime and hydrated lime is very important these industries include water softening industry sugar refineries paper industry manufacture of greases leather calcium carbide bleaching powder manufacture industry road manufacturing and cement industries and many more what is the principle of sugar method for determination of available lime The principle of the sugar method is based on the solubility of calcium oxide present in the sugar solution. The calcium oxide reacts with sucrose or cane sugar to produce sparingly soluble calcium saccharate and this is shown with the help of reaction. The solution is then filtered and the free and unreacted calcium oxide present in the filtrate is then determined by adding standard hydrochloric acid solution to it and then titrating a known volume of this solution with the standard sodium hydroxide solution 
using the phenolphthalein indicator we can calculate or determine the presence of available lime in the sample what is free calcium oxide it is the available lime or protective alkalinity defined as alkaline hydrates and half the monocarbonates what are the methods for determination of available lime the rapid sugar method and iodine method are generally employed why sugar method is preferred over iodine method for the determination of lime sugar method is simple rapid it gives accurate results and therefore it is considered as a superior method What is the role of lime in sugar refining? It is used for pH correction and as auxiliary of flocculation in bleaching of sugar solution. What is flocculation? Flocculation means coagulation. What are the apparatus required for rapid sugar test method? The apparatus required is simple and is easily available. It includes weighing balance mesh sieve number 100 allenware or graduated conical flask volumetric flask burette pipette and burette stand what are the reagents required in sugar method the reagents required are carbon dioxide free distilled water sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid solution both 0.1 normal phenolphthalein indicator in rectified spirit the rectified spirit used is indian standard number 323 to 1959 and a 15% solution of sucrose or cane sugar describe the brief procedure for the determination of available lime with rapid sugar method take 1 g accurately weighed finely powdered sample in a 500 ml volumetric flask wet with minimum amount of rectified spirit add 400 ml sugar solution and shake it for about 3 hours dilute it to the mark filter through watman filter paper number 40 into a dry flask discard the precipitate and the first 25 ml of the filtrate also tip it out 50 ml of the filtrate into a conical flask add 50 ml 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid to the conical flask along with a few drops of phenolphthalein titrate the colorless solution with the standard sodium hydroxide solution to a pink end point note the purity reading at the end point say it is capital b repeat the procedure to get a concordant value also run a blank using 50 ml sugar solution and 50 ml 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid solution and record the burette reading at the end point say it is capital a we will use the titer values for sample as well as for blank in the formula to calculate the available lime state the formula to calculate and to determine the available lime in the sample the lime is calculated as percent by mass and is given by the formula 28.04 within bracket a minus b multiplied by n and divided by capital n where a is the volume of sodium hydroxide used for blank b is the volume of sodium hydroxide used for sample n is the normality of sodium hydroxide and m is the mass of the sample taken in grams why is the precipitate discarded in sugar method for determination of free calcium oxide the precipitate is insoluble calcium saccharate while the free and unreacted calcium oxide remains in the filtrate therefore the precipitate is discarded how is the solubility of lime related to temperature solubility of lime decreases with rising temperature 
What is the effect of impurities in sugar solution on the solubility of lime? Solubility of lime decreases with increase in impurities in the sugar solution and vice versa. Is calcium sacrate soluble in water? Calcium sacrate is sparingly soluble or almost insoluble in water. What is the change in color at the end point with phenophthalene indicator in acid based titration? The color of phenophthalene in acid is colorless which changes to pink at the end point when the alkali is added to the acid solution. Is there any alternate procedure of sugar method for determination of available lime? Yes, a slightly different procedure for the determination of available lime can also be used. State the reagents required in the alternate method for the determination of available lime. The reagents required are almost same as described in the earlier procedure. With a slight difference. Here we use the distilled water which should be free from carbon dioxide, phenophthalene indicator, a standard solution of hydrochloric acid which should be 1 molar, standard solution of sodium hydroxide 0.4 molar and neutralized sugar solution. Also, Instead of using rectified spirit, we use methylated spirit. How is the neutralized sugar solution prepared? To prepare the neutralized sugar solution, dissolve 385 grams of sugar in 615 ml of distilled water. Add 2 to 3 drops of phenophthalene indicator followed by the drop wise addition of sodium hydroxide until a faint pink color appears and persists. Always use a freshly prepared neutralized sugar solution while doing this experiment. State the procedure and calculation in the determination of lime by alternate method. The brief procedure is simple. The sample which is grinded to completely pass 150 mesh screen is taken and exactly 2.804 gram of this sample is weighed and transferred into a dry 500 ml Erlenmeyer flask. It is dispersed in small amount of methylated spirit. Then around 50 ml of boiling water is added to it and the flask is placed immediately on a hot plate. It is boiled actively for at least one minute to complete slaking. It is then removed from the hot plate. The stopper is placed loosely and it is cooled in a water bath. To this 50 ml of the neutralized sugar solution is added. The stopper is placed and the flask is swirled. Swirling means the flask is shaken by moving the hand in a circular motion. Let the solution stand for 15 to 30 minutes with swirling at every 5 minutes interval. To this 4 to 5 drops of phenophthalene indicator is added and it is titrated with standard hydrochloric acid solution taken in the burette till the end point is reached. At the end point there is a complete disappearance of the pink color. The calculation is simple. The available lime is calculated as percentage by mass of calcium oxide and is given by the formula 2.804 multiplied by the molarity of hydrochloric acid used multiplied by the titer value in ml at the end point that is burette reading at the end point divided by the weight of the sample 
taken in grams. What is methylated spirit? The methylated spirit is the rectified spirit when mixed with 5 to 10 percent methanol it becomes methylated spirit that is denatured spirit. I hope I have covered almost all the possible five of those equations and their answers in this video. If still you have any doubt, feel free to ask the question by leaving it in the comment box. Thanks for watching this video till end. Share this video and also subscribe to my channel.